Hello everybody, welcome to Infinite Maths. Today I am going to tell you why trigonometric ratios are so fixed. Like sin 30 is equal to half, cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2, tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3, why sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 and all. Let us see very carefully what I am going to teach you. Let us take one triangle, right angle triangle, situated at 30 degree base and this is 90 degree. But of course some angle property will make this angle as 60 degree. Now I need to prove that if I take the ratio of this length and this length that is considered to be sin a, sin 30 is half. Alright, see let us take one line into consideration which goes at 30 degree from this base. That means if this is A and this vertex is B and this vertex is C and this point as D, you will see that D, B, C, these three points are forming an isosceles triangle where these two sides are equal. So let it be of X measurement and let it be of X measurement. If you see very carefully that this full angle was 90 degree and I have taken now 30. That means I am left with 60. So if you carefully see these three points, that these three points are also forming a triangle which in which one angle is 60 and another angle is 60. That means third angle must have been 60 as well because it has to go under the sub angle property. And we have reached a conclusion that in a right angle triangle with base angle 30 degree, if I draw a line which is 30 degree with the base, I will be getting an isosceles triangle and an equilateral triangle. This equilateral triangle has got a length side of length x. That means this must be a x as well and this must be x as well. And we have reached the conclusion that if this is x then this must be 2x. So sine 30 is p upon h and perpendicular is of x length whereas hypotenuse is of 2x. This would not have been possible had this angle not been 30 degree. Had this not been 30, had this not been 60 and had this not been equilateral angle, then things would not have been possible. So, with an algebraic ex expression, I have reached the conclusion without algebraic expression. That means this thing is going to remain as it is without any changes. And if I have to evaluate cos 30, that means base upon hypotenuse, I need to have the measurement of BC here, right? So, by Pythagoras theorem, I can say that x square plus BC square must have been equal to square of 2x. That means x square plus BC square looks like good enough to give us 4x square and eventually BC square looks like good enough to give us 3x square and bc equals to root of 3x square which further gives you root 3 times x. That means base is root 3x whereas we already know the hypotenuse as 2x. That means this is 2x. This gets cancelled and I have landed up with this value for cos 30 with using x and reaching the answer without x. That means this answer is going to remain as it is. As far as tan 30 is concerned, then I need to consider P upon B, that is perpendicular is X and base is root 3. So I hope you have liked this video. In my next video, I will be telling you about 60 degree, how sin 60 happens to be root 3 by 2 and how cos 60 happens to be 1 by 2 and then 60 happens to be root 3. Hope you continue seeing my video. Take care. Bye-bye.